Well, all this has been exposed to the weather. We exposed, so yeah. this, the actual zip system, I believe it's got about six months of exposure rating yeah. Yeah. with the rock wool. I mean, again, you said it's rocks. It's, it's yeah. got a, a little bit longer exposure rating, yeah. so it helps protect this. But, it, you know, as far as the compression and stuff, I've seen people actually drive over this. Yeah and very little compression obviously the safe and sound yeah or the comfort board yeah, yeah. i mean it is not gonna have the same it's is a lot denser than that you've got the comfort board 80 the 110 yeah. and we use the 110 below the slab so compression water all those kind of things with this kind of insulation we don't have to worry about that like like some yeah. other materials yeah not not in the way it's installed i mean when you walk on it for extended periods of time with a lot of people and you know it, it's more about the compression isn't as much a concern as it starts to, as the treads of your shoes yep. start to rip up the surface, then you start to lose inches of, of RV. But it, generally it b tends to bounce back. Enough walking on it, yes, it'll I did notice squash. that, like when we're um, installing it in the basement, because we yeah. installed it on the entry level, just so we didn't mess up the gravel and we're yeah. going out. I was like, I know it's a little bit of wear and tear on it, but for the most part, it kept its shape. Yeah put the plastic on top of that, the, yeah. the Stego, and it, That's right. it, it worked out really well. They use, they use some of these more rigid, even more rigid than the Comfort Board 80 and the Comfort Board 110. They have a product, there's one called Top Rock, and there's a Multifix, there's some roofing products that they use on low slope applications because there is going to be traffic, mm -hmm. you know, and those ones, and again, it's not for, you know, you don't want to put it on a patio necessarily where you have hundreds of people walking on it all the time and that sort of thing it's not necessarily i mean foam even foam could you know yep. buckle in some of that you know so um that there is it doesn't have the same compressive strength as some of the foams that they you know type six and higher or four and higher is stronger than soil you know i mean you, you get it so that that and right now there's no stonewall product that can get that dense or that uh, that much compressive strength to it and so you don't put it under a footing you can put it under a slab but not yeah. under a footing or any kind of bearing condition you know but it is it is a very rigid stable product yeah. you know. all right everyone we really appreciate chris coming out to do this presentation answer all these questions for the comments section if you want to check out his channel lg squared Just youtube add. at l or yeah forward slash LG squared. All right, we've got a link in the description below and appreciate you guys taking a look yeah. to, at this house. We've got the virtual house, which is gonna be in multiple phases. We've got the as built, where you can go through and see what it looked like before we got to this point. As soon as we put all the mechanicals in, you're gonna see all the mechanicals in before the drywall. And then once everything's put in place, you're gonna see the final reveal of this 1920s makeover. And um, finally, it's be quite, quite, yeah. yeah. Quite a journey. All right. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Thanks, man.